What does the Bible say about forgiveness? Well, you might guess, a lot. Jesus commands us to forgive those who sin against us and to do that without limitation or condition. His exact words are these. For if you forgive others their trespasses, then your heavenly Father will forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive you your trespasses. Or, again, as he said in Luke 6, verse 37, Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Now look, since he has freely and completely forgiven the sin of the whole world, yours, mine, everyone's, he wants us to live in that forgiveness. But anyone who refuses to pass it on to others, who holds on to grudges and resentments, well, that person ends up forfeiting the forgiveness which Christ so freely won for them and wants to give to them. So yeah, forgiveness is a big, big, big deal to God. He gives it to you freely in His Son, and He wants you just as freely to pass it on to others as you have received it. Oh, and by the way, if you say, but it's too hard hard to do that. You need to remember that forgiveness may indeed be quite hard, but it's never impossible. Not with Jesus and the gift of his Holy Spirit to you. In fact, on the contrary, it's the refusal to forgive, which always ends up being harder. And you know why? Because it makes your heart hard too. Forgiveness. It's Jesus' way. In fact, it's another name for him. He is forgiveness for all your sin. And remember, God had a plan from the very beginning. And Adam and Eve's sin could not derail that plan. That plan finally centered on his son becoming a human being in order to bring forgiveness to our world and to reach us in that forgiveness, a share in his own divine life. If you want to dig deeper on the whole subject of forgiveness, check out our podcast below on 1 John 1 and 2, Romans 5 and 8, and on Luke 6. There we go. Good.